Hey guys, it's Nikki, the host of Vulnerability Hangover, and welcome to the second episode of the Vulnerability Bites. The last episode that I did of one of these was a very old one. It was one that I recorded in the summer before I even came up with the name of this concept. So I apologize I didn't have an introduction in the beginning, but here we are. Second episode, Vulnerability Bites. I am on my way to work right now, and as I've mentioned before, whenever I drive, I think a lot. It's the beginning of the morning, it's 7.29 a.m., so my brain's still kind of waking up, but I have been listening to The Four Agreements again on Audible, and whenever I feel like I'm stuck, or like in a weird cocoon phase or I feel like I'm not really progressing, I always go back and listen to that book because it helps so fucking much. And one thing that I've been thinking about a lot lately is one of the agreements which is to be impeccable with your word. And I'm like, how can I apply this to what I do in my life right now? Like. Am I applying this in my life at this very moment? I'm happy to say that I've started actively doing that, especially after listening to this audiobook again. But I have always been like the type of person to shut up when I'm told to do so and also like be careful with what I say. Now, I, I guess I haven't always been like that. But I've learned to be like that because of being in the relationships that I've been in and just because like I am kind of a people pleaser and I want to make myself more palatable for people. But I have this one friend uh, or I had this one friend who was very outspoken and she would make you challenge yourself quite a bit and I really admire people like that I don't find them threatening whatsoever and I don't get irritated with that because I do like to be challenged in my day-to-day life and have deep conversations but I just really admired the way that she would challenge me to really stick to what I'm saying because I have a tendency to contradict myself I'll be honest and also like kind of go back on my word at times just so I can make other people more comfortable. I'm not doing that anymore. I am now going to stick to what I say, but like be mindful of what I say because I also have a tendency to be impulsive. Like if people piss me off, I'll just like say or not anymore, but I'll just say like exactly what I want to to get them to fuck off. You know, I used to be the type of person where they would say something that hurts my feelings and I'm like ha you went the wrong you fucked with the wrong person and I'm gonna go for your jugular now but um I have started doing this thing and I heard it on I think another podcast I can't I need to be better with my sources but I heard on a podcast I was listening to the other day that you need to take 90 seconds before you react to something because if not, you're reacting strictly based off emotion, and I have a tendency to do that. I'm trying not to now. But, so that being said, I am practicing whenever someone is like, ooh, I don't really care for what you say, or disagrees with something that I say, I'm not gonna go back on my word. Because I said it, I felt that way, and you can try to change my mind, I'm not gonna be like, close-minded with certain things but I'm gonna also like stand up for exactly what I believe in and what I agree with so that's just something that I've been doing in my daily practice is like being impeccable with my word and standing up for myself because every time I do that I'm like oh I feel like I'm honoring myself in a way because I am not allowing someone else's feelings, emotions, or whatever to sway me in any sort of way. But back to the point, like, I'm not going to be closed-minded with certain things. I think that you should always be challenged. But, yeah, 
that is just a realization that I've been having lately. Let me know if you guys are feeling that same way lately. I think there's like a collective shift right now where people are sticking to their words and yeah, I think we all should practice these kinds of things. Anyways, that's the end of the Vulnerability Bites for today. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your week or day. And I hope you learned something from me. Okay, love you. Bye.